time to replace the coping. Info. I live on a hill and the ground shifts from time to time. I have a line crack about two to three inches below the first tile all the way around the pool. We have a plaster in-ground pool. We'd like to change the tile all around the pool, replaster it, still deciding whether small pebble or quartz, and change the deco seal. The only question I have is whether the coping should be replaced. The coping looks solid, no breaks. After four estimates, the recommendations on whether we should change the coping are 50-50. Two said replace the coping, two said leave it alone. The two that said we should replace the coping said the same problem with the tile will occur if we don't replace it. Given that we're talking five to 6,000 to replace the coping, it's not an easy decision. How does a pool owner decide? All right, so a couple thoughts come to mind. I think here's how I would approach it. If it's not broken, don't fix it. If the integrity of the coping is good, and solid on the beam of the pool, I would not fix it. I can understand both sides of this coin as an estimator. When you're stripping tile off, it's certainly easy, easier to strip the tile if you're stripping the coping as well. That might be the motivation of one or both of those, why we need to do both of them at the same time. Uh, it does require a little more work to strip the tile and not mess with the coping. I don't think, again, I would need to see what those horizontal cracks are and what caused them uh, is unclear because I don't have any visuals of it. But I'm going to guess that if the, the, the tile is removed and you have soft spots in the beam, those pieces of beam can be fixed without the coping being taken off. Uh, that's just a, a, an assessment that I can give just based on what I've seen, I'm not looking at your specific case, your specific case, so I don't know what each of those separate estimators saw. However, my rule of thumb would be if it looks okay and it's doing its job and acting the way it's supposed to be and it's not falling off and it's still secured to the beam, I would probably not take it off because here's what potentially happens. If the coping is well seated onto the beam and now a contractor comes in and starts beating the heck out of it to try to get that coping off because that's basically what has to happen you have to use jackhammers and hammers and chisels and saws and cut you run the risk of damaging the already somewhat compromised beam that much more and now no matter what you do you create problems for the future it would be different if you had coping stones that were loose and wobbly and following off and hollow and they were already in a mess, it'd be one thing. But if those, are in, in, from an integrity standpoint, are in good shape, if there's a few bad ones, replace the bad ones, leave the rest of them would be my recommendation.